back, everyone. We hope all of you are ready for a brand new episode this week. Last week was filled with lots of excitement. The Honors Reading held their October meeting over the Grapes of Wrath, and the football team played Cassidy here at home. And of course, don't forget about Halloween. The choir also had Allstate a few weekends ago, and Brooklyn Teal interviewed Jared DeLay, one of our students who advanced on to the next round. Today I'm here with Jared DeLay. Jared just made it through our first round of auditions for Allstate Choir. So Jared, tell us about the music. So I have four pieces. Two of them are in foreign languages, and my favorite piece is Tarantella. So where do you go next for your second round of auditions? Uh, I go to Rose State College on November 14th. Well, we're wishing you good luck. Something else exciting happened last week was the FFA National Convention in Indianapolis. And some of our students were lucky enough to go, and we'd like to give a shout out to all the members who went, especially Kaylee McPherson, who was selected to play in the National FFA Band, who performed last week at the convention. Another one of these students was our very own Kasten Bowman, who asked FFA students from all over the country her question of the week. That's so exciting. It looks like our FFA chapter had a great time last week. Our class has been having a little debate this week and we need you guys to help us settle it. Marcella has the question for y'all. Five years ago there was a controversial debate about what color the stress was. Y'all let us know what you think. Thank you, Maricela. Please let us know what you see so we can settle this debate. How are you liking this weather, Addie? Well, it's allowing me to break out my fall clothes, so I'm not complaining. Well, it looks like the cold weather isn't going to let up anytime soon. It is now November, meaning some people have already started putting up Christmas decorations. Briley, when do you put up your Christmas tree? Definitely after Thanksgiving. Brody Thiessen has more on starting the Christmas season. Well, with Halloween over, we can now focus our attention on Thanksgiving. However, some of us around here skip Thanksgiving and go directly to Christmas. So that brings up the debate. When is it acceptable to set up your Christmas tree? Some people already have, like Mr. Shirley and Coach Smith. We want to know what you think. Personally, we set up our stuff around Thanksgiving break, which makes sense. So be ready because next week we will have Mr. Shirley giving us his thoughts and opinions on why he sets it up so early. So be sure to stay tuned and make this a class discussion. Thanks, Brody. As we told you last week, Dagan Miller ran at State a few weeks ago, and she ended up placing second in the state. Caden Brown joined her at the coffee shop downtown to ask how she felt about her final season. As you guys can see, we're here at Prime Rose, everyone's favorite coffee shop. One of our very own and very best workers here, our cross-country state runner-up, Dagan Miller. First off, congrats on Hi. state runner-up. So, Dagan, tell us a little bit about the season. The season went really good this year. I'm really proud of my whole team. We all really worked really hard. We all really improved our times this year. I'm really, really so proud of this. And then Coach Hill, phenomenal coach. I cannot say enough good things about him. It was just all over a great season. Just wonderful. Uh, what are your plans for the future? For the future, I'm looking to run in college. Maybe a Division One college, we'll see. I'm really hoping so, but. You see how the plans are. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe going around to the next level. Right? Yeah. And then how's your shooting year going so far? It's been pretty fun this year. Yeah, I've been working here, and it's just a blast getting to see all the friendly faces that come in, and I really love it. Well, if you're in Minko, come check out this coffee shop and come see Dagan. <laughs> For sure. Thank you. Congratulations, Dagan. Also, if you guys don't know, I am doing a podcast for the school called All Things Minko. And for our very first episode, we are doing a Q&A, and I would like you guys to email us any questions you have for me and senior Hannah Fitzgerald. You can ask anything you want to, just make sure that it is school appropriate. And if you're in the elementary, give any questions to your teachers so that they can get it to us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next week. Now it's time for another episode of Life with Lainey. So welcome back. This week we're going to be doing the Tortilla Slap Challenge. We're here with Paisley and Reed. So how long have y'all been dating? No. <laughs> Two years and nine months. Okay, so let's get started. Bring them the water. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Go 
go ahead. How can you do this? <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, so rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Paisley, go ahead. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. See y'all next week.